Welcome everyone to this tutorial. In this series we're going to build a basic toy store that has an in inventory of toys and a cash register that will um, check you out when you want to purchase one or more toys. So the first thing we need to do is to um, think about what our behaviors are of, or things that need to be done in our toy store. So and we can put these in as comments and then build code around them. So the first thing that might happen is we have to check to see if an item is in stock. So we'll do check uh, if item is in stock. We might have to add an item to stock. Uh, we might have to remove an item from stock. We might have to sort the stock in alphabetical order or some other type of uh, numerical system. So we'll just say sort stock. We may, we may need to retrieve the cost of a particular item from stock. Again, these are things that someone who comes to the cash register might ask the store personnel to do. Alright, and then once we have those items, then we have our cash register. And our cash register needs to um, calculate the subtotal of one or more items. We need to calculate the tax. Oh, we might also determine if there's a discount. Ask the person if there's a di if they have a coupon, and if so, give them a discount. Then we'll calculate the tax. Then we'll calculate the total. and we might want to print a receipt. Okay, so these are all things that our point of service system does. And a point of service system is um, a glorified calculator that you see in any store that can do all of these items. And then of course we have the main method. All right, so let's start working on each one of these. So we'll say def main. And when a person comes into the store, they might say welcome. So we'll say print welcome to Tom's Toys. And print how may I help you? Now, then after that, the person is going to have a choice of what they do, what they want to do. So we will have to print out the choices for our um, cash register operator. So we'll say something like answer is equal to raw underscore input. Enter. And then they can add add to stock by check inventory, remove from inventory. or sort the inventory. 
some of the things that we have up at the top. So let's, we have check, we have add, so here's add and we wanted to add, here's remove, and we've got remove, we've got sort, we've got check cost, so that'll probably be the same thing as, um, That's probably the same thing as check if item is in stock. So you can probably take one of those out. We've got, um, now if we buy, then of course we're gonna go through and subtotal everything. And then uh, we can print a receipt when we're done. So I think we're good for those items. So let's, um, the first thing then we'll need to do is we want to be able to add something to our list or our stock inventory. So we'll say if ant, make sure we're typing in the right spot here, we'll say if answer in str add, and then we'll say item is equal to raw input which toy would you like to add to the stock and then we have stock is equal to add to inventory or add to stock and then of course we have to pass in the item that we want to add to the stock and we have to pass in our entire stock and we're going to put our stock into a list and then we'll print out a receipt so we'll say print or confirmation we'll say item added and then we'll print out the variable the item in our item variable and then we'll say print inventory updated and we'll print out the stock list all right so we need to create our inventory list and we're going to set up a list of toys So here we have add an item to stock. So we're going to say, well, let's see, we need it. We need our stock. So we'll say stock is equal to, and I'm just going to put in a few toy names. So we'll say Django Monopoly. Connect four. Battleship. And sorry. So um, this is just a few basic board games. Okay, and then we're going to need to be able to add an item to the stock. So we'll say def add to inventory. And then we'll go ahead and pass in our stock and the particular item that we're going to add to the stock. And then we'll say stock dot add or append. So we're appending to a list. We reviewed all of the different things we could do to a list in our last episode when we talked about the songs and rhymes project and that's it that's all we have to do is add it append it to our inventory 
And then, of course, we want to return our stock list because it'll have the new item in it. So let's go ahead and check and make sure see how our program is working and debug anything that we have. So I'm going to hit Run, and it'll ask me to save it. And I'm just going to go ahead and save mine to the desktop right now. Toystore.py. And we'll give a minute for it to run. Oh, and we forgot to put in a main method, and that's why it came up blank. So we have to make sure we have a call to the main down here. Let's run it again. And of course we're going to do add this time. And I'm going to say, what toy could I add? How about operation? And it says stock reference before assignment. So that means we're trying to use stock before we've referenced it. So let's go look at our so what's happening here is we are trying to pass in stock but we haven't used it yet so what we need to do is take our stock variable and move it into our main and that should hopefully fix it and we've added operation to the end of our stock. And that is it for this part one of our toy store. And in the next episodes, we will handle the other methods. See you in the next episode.